Hey, good evening, Kingdom King folk. This is Bishop Derek Day, and uh, I want to talk to you today about um, something we call identity theft. Now, I'm sure many of you who spend any time watching television have seen the ads for this product called LifeLock that protects your identity against someone uh, procuring your social security number to steal your good credit. Well, I want to tell you what uh, LifeLock is in the kingdom of God. LifeLock for the kingdom of God, for the citizen of the kingdom of God, is grace. That's right. It's grace because grace, what grace does is it makes you righteousness conscious. In other words, your identity is sealed in the love and grace of God. Flat out. The, the grace of God protects your identity because it brings you in a consciousness of righteousness. In other words, when you stumble, when you fall, when you happen to find yourself in a fault, you don't turn to sin and, and, and begin to uh, give power to the sin. What you do is you turn to righteousness. Uh, my friend, Pastor Dwayne Merritt, had told me this thing. He said, you know, what God says that when you, uh, when you stumble, he says, hey, you know, come here, man. You know, you're better than that, right? So that's what we do. That's what, that's what righteousness consciousness does is that it brings you back to righteousness. Amen. So remember this, that when all from the very beginning, all the devil has ever had at his disposal is deception. The devil can't beat you. He can't scratch you. He can't kick you. He can't bite you. And matter of fact, the Bible says that he goes about like a roaring lion. In other words, he can't even roar good, much less actually do anything to you. Uh, uh, Jesus de uh, defanged him at the cross. So all he can do is gum you. Amen. So here's the deal. Identity is very important. You have to know that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. 2 Corinthians 5 and 21 tells us that very clearly. You are not a sinner. You are not a wretch. You are not a worm. You are not unworthy. You are a saint of God and a citizen of the kingdom of God and citizens have rights. You know, when you go overseas, if someone tries to mistreat you or abuse you, the first thing that you're going to say is, I'm going to American citizen. You can't do that to me. So when the devil comes in, you know, bringing about his noise and his gums, then you just simply tell him, hey, I have citizenship in the kingdom of God and you have no right to touch me. Amen. So understand, it's not, do not be sin conscious. Don't be conscious of the sin. Yes, we all stumble. Yes, we all fall short of the glory of God. But guess what? Because we're in Christ, righteousness consciousness restores us to the glory of God that he gave us in John chapter 14. Are you with me? You got to catch this. You got to catch this. This is very important because who you are and whose you are makes all the difference in your walk with Christ. Amen. Hey, I'm Bishop Derek Day. I love you. So does God. Can't do anything about either one. And I'm going to tell you this, that um, please check me out on, um, on my website, www.derekday.com, or you can hit me up on Facebook or on Twitter. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I, and most of all, you know, I want to thank everyone who's been tuning into these Periscope broadcasts, uh, because this has been a blessing for me to do them, and I hope it's been a blessing for you to hear them. And, um, and I want to hear the testimonies. I want to hear the breakthroughs that, uh, that come from this, because I'm going to tell you something. When you get a hold of God's unconditional love and grace, it changes your life forever. Remember, God loves you and so do I. We'll talk to you later. Peace.